हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सिल्परल जामुलकर व्हेन वी राइट बिग प्रोग्राम सो इन डेट प्रोग्राम वी राइट वी यूज मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स वी यूज मेनी फंक्शंस एंड आल्सो वी डिफाइन मेनी क्लासेस इफ वी आर डिफाइनिंग और व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग मल्टीपल क्लासेस फंक्शंस और वेरिएबल्स सो देयर आर चांसेस दैट देयर विल बी कॉम्प्लेक्स इन बिटवीन द नेम्स ऑफ वेरिएबल्स एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट वी मे गेट एरर्स so how to avoid such kind of naming complex so for that in various programming languages various techniques are provided for example in c++ language faces why we will see some examples so see here in this code we have defined this val function val variable so here also we have defined here also we have defined and here also defined so whenever there is a global variable and local variable so preference is always given to local variable now this is a val variable and we have allocated 200 and this val variable we have allocated 300 but as same name is used there so definitely when we run that it will take value for this val but i want to differentiate this val and this val to to differentiate it i have mentioned i have defined this val variable in this namespace so whenever so see here we'll run this program so normally when we write this and when we compile this program so here you can see here we got output 200 now see but i don't want this val variable i want to access this val variable so i can take help of this namespace as i mentioned here so i can write here and i can use this scope resolution operator so i will compile this and i will run this so this time i got 300 so here we have used namespace for the variable in the same way we can use namespace for the function name so here you can see here we have defined function value and again we are defining its value function but working of this two value function are different but names are same so i can differentiate them by using namespace so i have defined this value function in one namespace and this value function in another namespace and how it is accessed by the name of the namespace So see, this is ns1 and this value function. This is ns2 and this value function. And also here we we are using this variable x by using this namespace name ns2. So we'll see output of this program. So here you can see this. So here we are getting the result five. Here two hundred. And here x that is a hundred, hundred. We can also use namespace for the class. So here you can see, in this program, two classes are defined. This is one sample class and this is another sample class. Both have the same name. So to differentiate it, we have used this different namespace. So uh, we have mentioned this sample class in this namespace, and this name uh, in this namespace ns1 we have mentioned. we have defined another class sample while using or uh, while creating variable or object of these classes we have to use name of the namespace so see here we will run this program we have compiled this and now we will run this so this is from sample class of this is the first sample class here you can see display method of first sample class and this is from the this sample class of another sample class that we have defined in namespace ns1 so in namespace uh, we can have variables we can have functions and we can have classes also so to differentiate among different classes variables and functions we can use this namespace so that is how namespace is used in c++ language